Hello there! Today, in our course of writing 101, we are going to talk about how to make a good character. One of the tips that are always here when creating a character is that this must be charming, which is quite logical, but how do you get to build this kind of character? We can take out at first instant that charming does not mean a character who is good or a hero. Over the years, bad characters, villains, or simply not so good, not so bad, you know, a normal person, have appeared in movies that have enchanted the public. A great example can be the Joker. This character is literally a villain, a murderer, and we root for him. It is kind of a strange thing that we can aspire for these kind of characters. So now we can destroy the idea that this has to be an obligated aspect. So which is the true basis, traits, or instance to create a character that inspires support from the audience? Before I answer that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So the short answer for creating likable characters is empathy. Empathy is the intention of understanding the feeling and emotions, trying to experiment in an objective and rational way what the other person is feeling. And having empathy helps us to understand the actions and motives of the other's behavior. We start realizing why this character is in this way or the path he's gonna follow. And we create empathy for a character when we show two aspects, weakness and need. These factors show a big image of the character, which is important that the viewer sees as soon as possible, or at least before the great conflict occurs. If you don't know what is a conflict, I link you the video here. Let's start with the weakness. Weakness is something inside the character that during the story he must overcome. It is something that retains him and affects him. The conflict you choose must emphasize the weakness of the character, since it is an external manifestation of the internal weakness. A clear example will be the moving the king's speech. The king cannot speak in public because he's a stutter. The weakness is the reason why he stammering, and the conflict forced him to have to learn to speak in public, overcoming his stammering. Weakness is the most important factor in achieving empathy, because based on the weakness assigned to the character, the audience will be able to understand the pain that the character carries with him. In the creation of weakness, we need to assign something that people can relate to. Need is what the protagonist must accomplish internally, with the purpose of improving his life. That implies that he must overcome his weakness, grow, and change in some way. Need is so important that it's considered the source of the story. It helps determine the process by which the character embarks. The character usually does not know his need at the beginning of the story, in order to reveal it after he crossed the threshold of pain or after a hard battle. The need is shown in the peak of the conflict. The best we can do is give to the characters a psychological need and a moral need. In this way, we expand the spectrum of the character, and that helps in give his decision a foundation. These decisions have consequences that can affect or benefit those around him. And that encourages the public to aspire mostly for the character and what he does. Using the same example from the King's speech, his need is to be able to speak to a large masses. His need forces him to overcome the weakness of his stammering. When we provide the character with a need and a weakness, the character now has the basis to be able to change through the course of the story and also be able to be a likable character. This is all for today's video. Hit the like button for more and I see you in the next one. Bye.